Hello everyone, welcome to the Velvet Lounge. This is a special edition. I am going to talk about how I get the best deals using eBay and pay practically nothing or very little for most items that I purchase on there. And also, yes, I will be discussing some Outlander, um, you know, series information as well. So the reason that I want to talk about this is um, recently I put a post in one of the Outlander groups that I'm part of on Facebook and noted that I paid $36.45, which included the shipping and handling for the entire book series. Um, some of the books are brand new and some of them are lightly used. Um, Probably the one in the worst condition is this one, um, A Breath of Snow and Ashes, just because it has a foil, like a tin foil page, so you can see the wear more on it. But, I mean, this book is in very good condition. Um, nothing is ripped, no, no books are missing pages. Um, very excited about this purchase, and... A lot of people were asking me, how did I get such a great deal? Um, and I just bent the page on this one. And this is one of the brand new books. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys. So um, the average cost per book um, was like $4 and some change. And as I stated, shipping was included. So I did not pay extra for shipping. Um, actually the shipping was $7 and that $7 was part of the $36.45. So what I mean is I didn't pay above and beyond for shipping. Um, and so in this series, there are eight books. Um, and of course this is all of them. They came and so I have, you know, the first, and the other thing is, the service that this lady provided was excellent. Um, these were shipped from several states over from where I live. So hundreds of miles from where I live. Um, and, but there was a trick to that that I used to get a, you know, the best rate. And as you can see, it was priority mail two day service. Um, I did not expect priority mail two-day service. I thought these were going to come via media mail, which would have been totally fair. Um, and, you know, for $7, that's what I expected. But instead, she paid up because um, this is a large flat rate priority mailbox, and that's what it came in. And so she paid much more than $7 to send these to me. Um, and so... You know, getting right into this, the way that I save the most money possible when using eBay is like this. So what I do is when I'm searching for something, I actually write down two or three search titles because, for example, if I typed in the word Outlander, because this is the Outlander book series, um, that's going to give me a ridiculous number of search results. So that would be my last option if I was searching for these books online, simply because on eBay, simply because there would be potentially a million or more hits because you're not only going to get Outlander books, you're going to get Outlander t-shirts, you're going to get Outlander stuff that's from the old television show or movie, you're going to get stuff that you know, someone might have a t-shirt that's like, I went to the Outlander concert that was given by Bon Jovi. There is no such thing. I'm just using that as an example. And simply because the word Outlander is in the title, that will be added to that search result as well, even though it may not come up at the absolute top. Um, so what I typed in, for example, in this case was Outlander book series as one of my um, Outlander results. Um, and I also typed in Outlander series and I put in um, the author's name, Diana, and, you know, her last name, as well as, you know, I tried like three or four different things. So at the end of the day, don't look by just one 
title, like put a few different things in there because the search will resort in the way that the algorithm works is every time it's resorting because you put in a new set of words into the search box, it will toss out your previous stuff and give you a new list of items to look at. So by only putting in, putting words in the search box once, you are probably paying more than what you should. And also, I believe the algorithm works in a way, whereas if you are searching multiple times where it's getting tired of you and saying, you know what, let's just finally give this person a better search result. Um, also, the thing that I do with my search result, besides the, the fact that the words make a difference, is I also select um, low to high for the pricing. I select free shipping. And just to let you know, even though you select free shipping, you will get items in that search result that probably also show shipping cost. And the reason you'll get that is because it'll be near the end. So all the free shipping will be at the top of your search result. And at the bottom, you'll see stuff that has a charge simply because you made the search and eBay's algorithm is like, ah, maybe they'll want these because who knows why. Um, I actually did put in free shipping and chose an option where I had to pay for shipping. And the reason why I did that is for the free shipping people were charging so much more that when you added the shipping to the actual cost of the books, um, it was cheaper to pay a little bit for shipping. So you want to look at everything. So just because something says free shipping, I would say 80% of the time, it is probably not a good deal on eBay. Um, sometimes it is. I purchase this phone protector, screen protector thing that's on my phone, and it only cost me a dollar and fifty eight cents plus free shipping. So that was a great deal because for the same exact phone protector from other sellers, it would have cost at least seven to ten dollars. So you know you just have to know how to search. Another huge thing that I do, which I am sure saves me probably the most money, is I also add distance. So there's a distance option, and these options are over on the far left side of your screen when you're in eBay. Um, and what you do is you select, you know, the number of miles that, for example, I usually select 200 miles or less from my home address or from my mailing address. And the reason I do that is because the less distance the item has to travel, usually the better the pricing is, um, especially if you are paying anything for shipping. So I do that all the time. It works out really well. The other thing is um, eBay has a, a buyer's program. So if you buy items from eBay, Every item you buy, even if it only costs a dollar, you earn points for it. So what you do is you save up those points and you apply them to your purchase. Um, you know, if you're buying something that my dog is jingle jangling in the background, it's too funny. But if you buy an item that, let's say, cost one hundred dollars, you know, you might only have a credit of 55 cents. I mean, I'd say go ahead and use it. It's your 55 cents or save up those points. They might have an expiration date on them. You need to check that. I usually do most of my purchasing around the holidays. So in doing that, um, I usually have a lot more points that I can use. And usually I end up getting some items for free or a huge dis discount off of other items. Also, if you are um, a seller on eBay and you have a store on eBay, then what happens is you are given a voucher every month that you can use for free shipping supplies. The points that, like, if those shipping supplies cost $50, you actually earn points just from using their voucher. So that's another good way, you know, to get points as well. 
And I also have been given credits from eBay that I've used to purchase items. And using those credits, um, I not only earn points on them, but the credits are credits. So it's just like using a coupon and that gives me a discount as well. Um, so I wanted to just do an update for the people on Facebook so they can see that my books came in and there's one, two, three, four new books, four, five new books, actually five new books in these three in the actually one, two, three. Um, what is this? The something of autumn. I can't see it. Drums of autumn, a breath of snow and ashes and the fiery cross are used but the other books the other five books um that i purchased are brand new so so excited i actually started reading book number one the other thing that this lady did which was absolute prime is she um put little like tabs in the books so that I like they're in order so that you know which book is number one, number two, number, you know, whatever, one through eight. Obviously, within the books, um, the author has noted, um, obviously, the order of the books. I double checked and all the orders are correct, but that was just going the extra mile. Awesome, nice service. And I hope that everyone is, you know, I love the finale. The finale this season was awesome. Um, the only thing that kind of perturbed me a little bit is you would think that there would have been an acknowledgement um, by Brianna or even by Roger telling Brianna that Ian sacrificed himself to get him back to her. Um, also, oh my God, Brianna can be such a brat. Um, very spoiled.